block is by Joel Feisler. The Jews go in red. Uh, pink, that's yes. Yeah. Okay. It's a side effect of CO gas. Now, there is more to say about that. Studies are moving for something even faster, other faster options of gases that could be used. Cyanide is being tested in uh, various forms. Electrocution, too? Uh, electrocution, too, yes. So there is a research being done to see whether electrocution can even more uh, effectively quietly put an end uh, a period to the end of the sentence. Say one truckload an hour, including putting the contents in, running the engines, removing the contents, cleaning the inevitable soiling. On a 24-hour schedule, 1,440 a day times 20 trucks. 20 trucks, that's 28,800 a day. 10,512,000 in one year. But I cannot imagine you could operate consistently at that rate, not to mention disposal. Gas fans are a short-term field solution. We have three camps where permanent gas chambers will be operational. I'm sorry? Yes, I was about to mention Belzer, Zobobor, and Treblinka before General Hoffman was taken ill. It was a fine cigar. Ultimately, the camps will be the primary location. Yes. Now, last time a rice grower Himmler asked me to visit a camp up in Upper Silesia called Auschwitz, which is very well isolated and close to significant rail access. And we are turning that camp into a major center, solid structures. And here's where your Jewish labor comes into play here, Norman. The Jews hold the bricks, and they build the buildings themselves. When the structures are complete, we expect to be able to process 2,500 an hour. Not a day. An hour. And those numbers look a lot better. 2,500 an hour. 2,500. At 24 hours a day, that is 60. 60,000 Jews a year, if ever there were. Uh, we're also constructing the means of disposal, which will obviously depend upon the process of combustion. Yes, it will be industrial in nature, large commercial gas fed ovens, no residues. Sixty thousand Jews every day go up in smoke. We can achieve that.